Duly noted, 7-24-2014. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Bailey. I'm here at Catalyst Sport, LLC, Midtown Manhattan. Please come see us, 1410 Broadway, between 38 and 39. Uh, we're going to show today the gluteus medius activation. Uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do this if you're trying to get the, the lateral hip to turn on. The gluteus medius is a complicated muscle. Uh, you want to think of it as basically a rotator, uh, the hip. It's also a big time stabilizer and compressor of the hip. It does two thirds of the joint's compression. Compression of the hip is a normal state of the hip, especially on the front leg being loaded during gait. Uh, we don't want to stay in compression always, but it's a very stable position for the joint. If someone, uh, one of your clients or patients has trouble activating the gluteus medius, I kind of lean people away from the clam and lean them more towards a little bit of bubble muscle stuff. Uh, you might be able to find a buckle and half and standing. So what you can do is go into half kneeling, grab a band, and you want to shoot for the hip to go out laterally. So you're actually pulling here and shifting the hip out laterally. Feel a nice deep stretch in the posterior hip, right below the iliac crest in the back. Iliac crest is a fancy word for bony things that stick out <laughs> near the edges of the crest. After you do this with uh, the band, you can do it upon standing. Basically what you're going to do is feel your hip shift into your hands. You don't want to feel this in the low back. If you feel this in the low back, you're training low back movement for hip movement. That's a common thing. So you can put your hands here, push out against your hands, and then shift the hip. You really want to feel the hip coming up and to the back corner. That's going to load the gluteus medius. Then you can do it with a rack position for kettlebell. You can shift the hip this way. Loading the abdomen, making sure that the abdomen's not the primary mover here. And then you progress it into a windmill. Same kind of idea. Shifting that hip to the back wall. These are great exercises for helping someone who has hip drop that's got gluteus medius to blame. Uh, it can be a very great way to learn how to stabilize the hip and activate some of these muscles that are a little bit tough to turn on. You'll find a lot of people have trouble with the chrono shift. They try to use it in their backs or try to use it into their feet. So this, these drills can be very, very helpful for getting someone to actually get their gait to be more efficient. Dr. Kathy Dooley, I'll see you next time.